Hi, the topic of the video is Harmony Unveiled, a female lecturer's transformative leadership in sustainability via beekeeping for sustainable development. Transformative leadership journey of a female lecturer who pioneered a sustainable beekeeping project at a campus situated in a remote rural village dominated by a lot of natural vegetation somewhere in the Limpopo province. Why this project and which problems were you focusing on? Two serious problem areas were identified in this community, which are the biodiversity loss and the second one, an increasing unemployment rate of graduated students from our campus. Most graduates were mocked and their qualification was undermined by many. What are your theoretical and autobiographical perspective about the problem identified? It only demanded a visionary, innovative and sustainable leader who could bring about constructive transformative ideas to equip students and develop them into entrepreneurs. The campus curriculum situation birthed this kind of a leader in the life of a female lecturer. Her passion for both education, environmental conservation, and building future self-employed individuals in their respective local communities drove her transformative leadership through her engagement in a beekeeping campus project, contributing significantly to the four sustainable development goals, which are SDG 15, life on land, SDG 12, responsible consumption and production, SDG 8, which is decent work and economic growth, and lastly, SDG 4, which is quality education. What were your active experimentation? I collaborated with a private company with beekeeping experts okay. through the HRD yes. office of the Brought college that. and outsourced an expert to come and assist okay. our campus with a seamless integration of beekeeping principles with All academic right. learning. I was trained with a handful of students on how to place, to maintain, and to check beehives for the continuation of the project. We were able to place 60 beehives around the campus natural vegetation, and 40 hives, they remained for replacement. What is your reflection on challenges against the project? Regardless of the challenges from my colleagues against the project initiation, my resilience and passion for the project helped me overcome major obstacles because I knew that this project will add value to our campus and the whole college, as confirmed by Sean D.A. 1983, the reflective practitioner, How Professionals Think in Action, Basic Books. How does the project interact with student learning? I managed to foster an integration of this beekeeping project into the curriculum by doing hands-on practicals and daily activities of students. UNESCO 2017. The whole campus got buzzed with excitement of students who became ambassadors of the project, organizing workshops and awareness campaign, campaigns to educate the wider campus community about the importance of bees in maintaining biodiversity and ecological balance. Students are now owning the project and acting like it is their farming industry, confirming the reality of my dream. I sense a sense of responsibility and environmental stewardship started and is developed in my students. What are your anticipated outcomes? I want to see destruction of unemployment and environmental conservation. Recently, my students are always talking about looking after the natural vegetation because they now know that beekeepers utilize it to produce honey, which can become a lovely wood. Is the project sustainable? Yes, this project signifies not only harmonious coexistence between humans and nature, but it also unveils transformative leadership in the realm of sustainability. It will continue to contribute towards the reduction of unemployment, preserving ecosystem, and promoting a balanced coexistence with the environment. The autobiography waves through my experiences of setting up beehives, nurturing colonies, reduce youth unemployment, and emphasizing the interconnectedness of nature and human activities. Thank you.